Yo, what's going on YouTube? I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. I just been a little, I just been a little busy and lazy. Uh, but in this video, I am doing a seven on top. This kid, he had curls on top. He had a perm, you know, just like how I did. Um, so yeah, he had a perm. I cut it down to a seven, so his hair is all straight. I, I kept the shape very clean and nice. I want you guys to watch this video. Um, make sure you watch the end of this video because I will be discussing about something that's important. Important. Um, and make sure you watch this entire video. It's a good video, y'all. You guys can learn a lot from this video, especially in shaping up and detail work and everything. So make sure you guys watch the entire video. Okay? Thank you, guys. Yo. What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I'm back at it again. Uh, so right here, I'm going to do a seven on top. So my client, he has kind of a perm on top and he also has red hair. So, you know, I had to record this. So I'm doing a seven on top, mid drop fade. So I forgot to tell you with the seven guard, um, I am using my wall seniors. Um, so I have my lever all the way open right now because on my clipper, I don't know if it's for y'all's, but for some reason on my clipper, when I try to cut bulks of hair, when it, the lever is closed, it kind of gets jammed. So I like to have the lever open just so I can, you know, smooth it all out. No, not smooth it all out, but cut it all down and like so like easily and then come down with the closed lever and just you know clean it up because when you close the lever it's going to get all the hair you know what i'm saying like when you close it it's gonna it's gonna get all the hair that's are sticking up from the when you have the lever all the way open so keep that in mind when you do cut down hair make sure that you always do at the end just smooth it out with a closed lever and just you know go over it so many times so everything could be even So for the first step, I have my one guard. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be taking off bulk on the side. So I'm going kind of like, I'm going at the edge of the temple and I'm kind of dropping it low because I am giving it that mid drop fade look. Um, I know I do a lot of mid drop fades, but that's just, you know, that's the look that I like. And it, it looks best on the client, especially their head shape. And if you're trying to shape up the hair, like I am going to do with my client here. So I do have a one guard. I have it open so I'm just what I'm doing is I'm making the I'm just cleaning up space so I can just so when I do set in my first guideline it'll be easier so um I do make my my first line but I am flicking out because I don't want to go higher than that when I do when I mean by flicking out is that I I'm not trying to make a hard line so when I flick out it kind of makes it kind of lighter so it would be easier for me to take out that line because I've always said hard lines hard take out so when I do flick out, it's going to be easier for me to come in with the clipper over comb and just take that out. So I'm going to be doing my clipper over comb right here with my clipper comb. So I'm going to be leaving my comb straight. As you can see, the hair that is poking out, I am going to be cutting that. So you leave your, your comb straight up and then all the hair that is poking out, you want to you know clip that. Um, I say that clipper over comb is probably the best thing, especially in fades or tapers um, because it is so much faster. So you don't gotta keep going over regards or anything. Clipper of comb, it just takes so much time off of a cut. Um, as time goes on, it, when you get, when you're more repetitive with the clipper of comb, you will understand which hair to cut and what hair not to cut. Um, I remember my first time when I did a clipper of comb, it was in barber school, I, I passed somebody so bad. And yeah, I learned from that and I've never done it again. So I'm letting y'all know that now. <laughs> I'm gonna be making my first bald line slash guy line <laughs> with my Andis cordless outliners. Um, a lot of people are wondering why do I use my Andis T outliners to make my ball line instead of lining up. Uh, to me, it's just, they cut off bulk so easily and it's just, it's, 
it, it'll save so much time for me just to keep going over and over and over it. So, I mean, my T outliners, they just, they do the job. So, I mean, if it ain't broken, don't fix it, you know? <laughs> I have my wall cordless seniors and also I'm going to be making the guy line half an inch. I'm going to have the lever all the way open. Make sure that it is even all throughout the entire head because if the guy line is straight then the blend will be straight. So make sure that your guy lines are always straight and that's pretty good. To blend out the bald line, I have my lever closed and I'll be using the corners. Make sure you do use the corners to uh, flick out. So what I do is I go close and then halfway then open. I say this in all my videos. It's basically the same thing, but um, if you guys haven't, just go check out my recent videos and see how I do it. But I do always, I do close, halfway then open. So I play with it a lot just so you can get the, you know, that blurry look. Um, everybody has their own preference, so, you know. Just do what makes what makes you a better barber and just do what you like to do. You know, at the end of the day, if the haircut looks good, it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as it looks good, you know? As you guys know, in the beginning of the video, I did do a one, you know, just to, you know, take off the board. So I'm going to be using a one here, but it's not necessarily going to do anything. It might take off, I mean, a few dark spots, but it's not necessarily going to do anything because I did use a one in the beginning of the video. So I'm only doing this, you know, just so I can keep my guide, my guide, because, you know, I always do the open lever and then I come back with a one guard. I only do that so I will not lose my place on the on the haircut because when you do lose place on a haircut then your blend's gonna be uneven so I am basically just doing this just so I can obviously keep my guy uh, keep my fade straight and just be on track I have my zero guard here and I'm gonna have the lever all the way open I'm only doing that just so I can see what the guard would do to the hair, you know, because I've never cut this kid before. So I've just wanted to see what it'll do. And it it, it will lighten up the hair. Um, it's going to be lighting up. As you can see, it kind of is lighting up. I don't know if you guys can see it, you know, but um, I am eventually going to go halfway. Just, you know, just close it just a little bit more and then go at it again and it'll lighten up even more. And then once... Once it's lined up to your liking, then you can go close and then just take out the dark spots or fade it any way you want to. Um, but just make sure that you use those methods because, I mean, it makes it easier just so you, you don't have hard lines everywhere.
So for this lineup part, I am going to be starting in the middle. As you see, I'm combing this hair down just so I can get the hair laid down so that when I do line it up, it's going to be crispy, you know? <laughs> but I start from the middle and I'm working my way to the right and then I work my way to the left. I say this in all my videos. It's, it's starting to get kind of repetitive for me to say, but you know, I'm doing this to help you all out. I start from the middle and I work my way to the left and right. So that way when I do start in the middle, it meets up from the left side to the right side. So it's not gonna be uneven, you know, cause if you do start from the left side and then work your way to the middle and then you work your way to the right side, then it's just all gonna be uneven. So I, I like to just keep it in the middle. I start from the middle, keep that base and boom, line it all up, makes it fast, simple. And it's also, I mean, it makes it crispier. So, I mean, that's just, that's how I feel. I mean, I have my own preference. You guys might do it otherwise, but you know, I'm just here to teach y'all. So let me say something real quick. Um, a lot of people don't know, but I do like keeping the shape on the haircut. Um, it's to me, it looks a little better. And I mean, I'm sure that a lot of y'all, I'm pretty sure you've got your haircut and the shape was just off. You know, it was kind of like dented in or it just didn't fit your head shape. So I like doing that. And especially, and I, I tried my best to blend. I might not be the best at blending but I do like keeping the shape because it makes the haircut and it makes the haircut fit the head if you know if you guys know what I'm saying so I do like keeping the shape let me keep that in mind so all the haircuts I do that's why I do a lot of mid drop face so I can keep the shape Yo, ho, ho. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you put a thumbs up for this video and put the post notifications on so you can see when I upload my next video. And, um, and I also told you guys I will let you guys know about at the end of the video. So I will be doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So um, in, in some of my videos, I'm gonna be talking more and more about it. But I'm just letting you guys know. I'm just keeping you guys updated about the the giveaway. And um, so yeah, at 5,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. It's gonna be for three people. So um, how to enter the giveaway? Just basically, just tell me um, what got you into barbering and what you like about it and how it changed your life. So this uh, it's gonna be throughout my. I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to get 5k but hopefully it's soon so I will keep you guys updated of what the prizes I will be giving away for the giveaway so so make sure you guys watch all my videos because I will be talking more and more about it the people that do watch my videos to the end y'all real MVPs and y'all should uh, be updated you know more so yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on Instagram it's gonna be at the end of the video and take care y'all